Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new and if you're returning, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Today we have got an ASOS haul, which is new to the channel. I've not done an ASOS haul before. I've found a new love for ASOS. I used to love it, I went away from it a bit, and now my love for it has come back. So I'm really excited, I did this big shop over Black Friday, so I'm sorry if some of this was discounted when I brought it and now it's not um, because this video has gone up a couple of weeks after after Black Friday now so apologies for that but I'm sure the stuff will be on the still on the website and I'll link it below and if I can find a discount code for you I'll link that below as well first thing I got is this plain black dress it's got like the um I don't know how you really pronounce it the cow cow neck do you know what I mean? It kind of like droops. It's so, this is really hard to see. Let me go against the white wall. It um, droops at the front here. And the rest of it is literally just a plain black bodycon dress. It actually looks kind of long, but I'm pretty sure it was a mini dress. Maybe a bit longer, but it was definitely not past the knees. And it's just a nice soft jersey material. Now, the reason I picked this up is because I wanted a kind of casual little black dress because for one a little black dress is literally a staple to have in your wardrobe and I don't actually think I own one not just like a basic one anyway and I think this is just such a good piece to dress up or down like you can chuck a blazer and trainers on or you can put some heels on and you know you're just good to go this is such a versatile item so yeah there's that I got it in a size six for reference and this is actually asos design as well i forget that i need to actually tell you what the brands are but yeah this is asos design and it looks like it's going to be really nice and i'm pretty sure it was inexpensive as well The second piece is this camel turtleneck. If you watch my Shein haul, you'll notice that I picked up a very similar coloured jumper, but I actually had to send that back because it was super itchy. But this one feels so soft and I think it's going to be really flattering because it's kind of that like stretchy material, if you know what I mean. And roll necks can sometimes make me feel claustrophobic, but I just think they look so nice that it's worth the uh, claustrophobicness, if that's even a word. The sleeves look incredibly long, but this kind of nice if it's cold, you know, you can pull them over your hands and stuff. It'd be cute if I had a little thumb hung, but you know, can't be perfect. Again, I think this was really inexpensive. It is ASOS design again, and I got this one in a size eight, but yeah, it's just a really beautiful color. And it has got that like, this ribbed detail as well. And I can just tell already that this is going to be super comfortable. So the next piece is probably my favorite i mean i haven't tried anything on yet but i think these are going to take the cake these are just this beautiful nude color i can't really describe it it's like a nudie tone neutral anyway um they're really nice and thick kind of knitted ribbed flared trousers I'm just so in love. They are so soft. I feel like they're going to be really warm and not see through at all because they're so thick, like they're heavy. Um, but I hope these look nice on. I'm praying because I know sometimes knitted trousers can kind of be a bit unflattering, but I'm just in love with these already. Um, I mean, they're incredibly long. <laughs> I can't. Let me just pan this down. Look how long these are. Excuse all the mess. Look at that. <laughs> I'm um, five foot five, which is pretty average. And I didn't get them in tall or petite. So 
hopefully they fix like i want them to be long but i also don't want them to be dragging along the floor so that they're dirty oh look the sun's coming back out again um so yeah i got them in a size small cream they're cream why can't i think of that color wow i must have had a mind blank and yeah they're just cream girl in mind that's the make um, knitted wide leg trousers so yeah i've never had anything from girl in mind before i actually never even heard of it but these feel really good quality and i don't think they were very expensive either again i've said that about everything <laughs> Following on with some more comfy bottoms, I have these joggers. They are a beautiful nude colour. Again, I wouldn't say these ones are cream. Maybe they are. They're a bit darker than the um, knitted trousers. They're just really nice. Again, really thick. I think they keep you really warm. They're lovely and soft inside, like literally fluffy. Don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but they're like super soft and fleecy so cozy they've got the drawstring which i love because i like my joggers to be um, a bit baggy but also i like them to be adjustable so they fit around the waist i got them in a size eight so i didn't i didn't upsize um, because i think they did state that these were oversized and again these are asos design so they're just basic joggers drawstring pockets and the cuffed bottom but they literally look like they're going to be super nice and cozy i've got a couple of jackets which i am in love with so i'm going to show you this one first it is this amazing puffer is it a puffer it's like a quilted bomber jacket it's pretty oversized and it feels again great quality this is from the brand collusion which has loads of great stuff on asos by the way i think this is the only thing i picked up but i favorited loads of things that all happen to be collusion um and it's just this lovely like quilted material i think it'd be waterproof as well um, and it's just a nice nude beige colour. And then it's just got little poppers. I feel like this is going to be really nice and warm. Pockets. And I got it in a size 10 because I did want this to be oversized. And just be, have a baggy fit. But I'm so in love with it already. I hope it looks nice on and fits nicely. Um, but I actually don't own any bomber jackets. I used to have a Harrington like way back in the day um when they were cool but i don't have any other than the top shop one that i bought not that long ago actually um but yeah i just thought you know i need some more bombers in my wardrobe and this was a great one to start with This one I have actually already worn and let me tell you, it is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just um, rejigging it so I can show you what it looks like. Another bomber jacket, but this one is black. So now I feel like I have both. This one is a cropped black one and that one was a big oversized cream one. So I think, you know, I've got one for each vibe. And this one is also reversible. So you get two in one in this one. I think it was about 40 pounds as well. So that's pretty good when technically you're getting two coats or two styles. Um, and it's just this lovely black bomber jacket, again in the like um, sort of waterproof jacket. I don't know if it is actually waterproof, but it's like that material. Um, and then the sleeves are kind of like cuffed. And then you do have a little drawstring at the bottom here, which I have mixed feelings about this because 
I love that you can like tighten it and make it even more cropped and a bit more baggy. Um, but also when you just want to kind of wear it open, these are annoying because they just hang there. So I'm half tempted to cut them off. I'm not sure yet. Um, but when it's zipped up, it's fine because you can do them up. But when it's unzipped, which I wear most of my jackets open, um, these can be a bit annoying. But yeah, it's just this plain black, silver zip. As you can see, the hood is this beautiful folks fur. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Folks? Fake fur. Anyway, it's not real. Guys, don't hate me. It's fake. Um, and it's obviously, like I said, it's reversible. So the hood is completely furry. And then if I unzip it, the inside is completely furry. The whole of the inside, because obviously you can pull it the other way and wear it as a black fur jacket. I just fell in love with this and it is so warm. I wore this in the UK in December on a cold rainy day and I wasn't cold a bit. Literally it kept me so warm. So I'm really, really pleased with that because even if I fall out of love with it, it's so handy to have a jacket that you know is gonna keep you warm. clothing items but I've just got a few accessories to show you so the first thing is so cute I literally love it it is this little shoulder bag it's so small but it's so nice I think for like night outs drinks this is such a cute bag go with everything because it's like a tan beige I don't know if you can see it's definitely more tan than cream it is a lot darker than like a cream um, but oh, it's just a tissue paper inside. It's quite a decent size. It has got silver detailing, but you can't really see it. It's quite like concealed and it's just like ruched. And I just love it, it's so cute. It's a bit of a different um, vibe to just the normal basic big baguette bags. And I think it dresses it up a little bit, but equally, I mean, you could wear it day to day as well. You know, it's just a bag, but look, look how cute. It looks so cute, matches my hair. <laughs> Clearly, I'm very excited about this, but yeah, I'm actually really pleased with that. It looks really nice and it looks expensive and I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Okay, so the first piece of jewellery I got was these chunky gold earrings. Can you see them? They are a bit bigger than I thought they was going to be. I hate when I can feel my ear like dragging down. I'm not very good with big heavy earrings, which I think these will be. As you can see, I wear pretty small ones normally. Um, yeah, I was expecting these to be a lot smaller than that. Um, I would get them out of the bag, but it says once I've opened this bag, I cannot return piercings. So I'm gonna leave them in there just in case I decide to take them back because I wouldn't normally wear things this big, especially not on a day-to-day -day basis. I think for like a night out, they'd be really cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just can't stand wearing heavy earrings that I can feel. Like, you know when you move your head and like, you just feel your earring like hit you in the face. <laughs> I'm not about that. That really, I'm just, I'm not really an earring girl. I, fun fact, actually, well, it's not that fun, but I have had my ears pierced like three times and I always just keep the same earrings in all the time. Like my friends can't believe that I sleep in the same earrings. I just wear the same earrings all the time. I never take them out because if I take them out, I'll forget to put them back in because I'm not really an earring girl. I just wear them because I think they look cute. But then my second piercing, I actually only got done this year. And this one, I got done this year as well. So I actually didn't have my ears pierced for years. I did have them done when I was younger, but they closed up. And then finally, at 21, I decided to get them re-pierced and try and be responsible and stop them from um, healing up. So, yeah, that was them. And you just got my life story along with that. So, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> the next thing I got is some gold rings. I used to be a silver girl and I still love silver. I'm wearing silver now. Um, but I did want to kind of transition to gold as well, not entirely, but just so I can mix and match and wear both. 
and I did ask for a really nice gold ring for Christmas. So I just thought I'd get some cheaper gold rings to kind of stack with it and just wear with it so I'm not just got you know, one gold ring on. And they don't look cheap even though they were. So I'm pretty sure these are just ASOS design, but I'll just show you them individually if they focus. Can you see? Focus. I don't think it's gonna focus, but I'll show a close-up video um, in the next clip anyway. But I'll just try and briefly show you. So there's like um, this one, which is kind of like little tiny hoops. And then there's this one, which is similar, like a crisscrossy vibe. Um, and then there's this one again, the hoopy vibe, but a bit chunkier. Well, there you go, you can see that one. And then there's this just simple one with a little gold square. This one's really cute. It's like a little gold one with, and they're all gold. What am I going on about? It's just this little one with a little knot on it, which I thought was really cute. And then literally just a plain one and another one that's kind of like a rope. So yeah, I just thought they were really cute. I think they were literally like five pound in the sale. Um, and I just thought they'd look nice when I choose to wear gold. So yeah. everything i hope you guys enjoyed this asos haul if you did please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what haul you want to see next also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my future content i think this is going to be my last video before christmas so i just want to wish everyone a very merry christmas i hope everyone has a lovely time despite the circumstances i know it's not great um but you know we've just got to think of the positives i hope everyone is happy and healthy if anyone is alone or struggling, then my DMs are always open and there's so many helplines out there. I'll put some down below. Um, but I know this can be a difficult time of year for some people as well. Not just this year, but every year. So I just want to send my love out to everyone. And yeah, I wish you all the best and I'll see you soon. Bye.